What's up guys this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to have gaming performance test of Xiaomi Pad 5 tablet by playing few of the most high and heavy graphics game. We will also monitor whether we are going to face any hitting issue or not and the battery performance. So here we go. So the screen refresh rate is set to 120Hz. So right now the CPU temperature is 34 degrees Celsius and the battery temperature is 28 degrees Celsius and the battery percentage is 78. For this testing purpose we will use Xiaomi's Game Turbo application. So first of all let's start with Injustice 2. So the volume is full and it's very loud and the audio quality is quite nice as well. So we are getting around 120 FPS, 118, 110 as you can see here at the top game turbo widget. I'm going to reduce the volume, it's too loud. So around 120 FPS we are getting here while playing Injustice 2. The graphics quality is so good. The 3D graphics rendering is nice as you can see here and the gameplay is pretty smooth. So everything is nice and smooth while playing Injustice 2 on Xiaomi Pad 5 and we are getting around 120 FPS most of the time. So that's quite nice for sure. So let's go back from here. Let's have a look on the battery status. So the CPU is at 45 degrees Celsius now and battery is at 35 degrees Celsius. Good part is that the device is exactly at the same temperature so it feels like the cooling mechanism of the device is quite nice. Uh, CPU is at 41 degrees Celsius now and now it's time to play the Call of Duty Mobile. So here in the graphics setting of Call of Duty Mobile you can see by default very high is selected for the graphics quality and for the frame rate I can go as high as max along with very high graphics quality. So this is the setting I'm going to use to play Call of Duty Mobile on Xiaomi Pad 5 to get the best graphics quality output and now let's play the game. So the gameplay is looking smooth and we are getting good amount of details here. You can see how smoothly is zooming in. After zooming in we are getting a bit of tearing. The graphics quality is being reduced because the game is optimized for the smaller display like smartphones but we are playing it on our Xiaomi Pad 5 nearly twice of the display we get on a smartphone here. The screen is a bit big and I am facing a bit difficulty while playing this game here. You can see like my finger is not moving across the screen very quickly but the gameplay is smooth. There is no frame drops or lagging. Let's check the FPS. So we are getting around 45 FPS here. Enemy 
So 60 FPS we are getting, 59 FPS as you can see here, 61 FPS, 58 FPS and uh, earlier we were getting around 45 FPS so it looks quite nice, 60 FPS is not bad, getting on high graphics quality and max frame rate here. So the gameplay is quite nice and smooth, graphics quality is good, it's just that I'm facing a bit of issue while playing this game because of the huge screen size. So everything was nice and smooth while playing the Call of Duty Mobile on Xiaomi Pad 5. We were getting around 50 FPS on average because it was fluctuating between 60 to 45 here and there. But the graphics quality is quite nice and there was no frame drop or lagging while playing this game on Xiaomi Pad 5 here. Now if you have a look on the battery status, the battery temperature is 35. And the CPU temperature is 43. It moved from 53 to 43. So it's cooling down once I stop playing the game. But as I mentioned earlier, once again, the device is at the same temperature. So I cannot feel any heating issue. This part is slightly warm, just minor warmth sensation you can feel here. But maybe it's because of the holding the device like this in my hand only. And now it's time to play the Altos Odyssey. So this game can run on 120 FPS. Let's see how much FPS we are going to get. Uh, first of all, I will have to complete this tutorial. So we are getting 52, 61 FPS. Seventy two FPS, so most of the time it is at sixty FPS, as you can see here.
So it seems that Alto's Odyssey is not compatible for 120Hz refresh rate on Xiaomi Pad 5 as we are getting 60 FPS here most of the time while playing it on Xiaomi Pad 5 here as you can see. And here we go, boom! But the graphics quality is quite nice and as you can see no frame drops or delay is happening while playing this game. So just wanted to give you a quick idea about the gameplay and how much FPS Xiaomi Pad 5 is going to provide while playing Alto Zodacy and we were getting 60 FPS only. So battery temperature is 34 and the CPU is at 46 now. And now it's time to play the last game for today and that's PUBG Mobile. So here in the graphic setting of PUBG Mobile you can see by default HDR is selected for the graphics quality and high for the frame rate. I can select Ultra HD as well but once I am selecting the Ultra HD you can see from the frame rate the extreme option is getting disappeared and we are getting Ultra only. If I am going to USD it is not available on Xiaomi Pad 5 so I am going to select the HDR graphics quality and extreme frame rate to get the best possible frame rate while playing PUBG Mobile on Xiaomi Pad 5 and let's see how good it's going to be. So the graphics quality is looking quite nice especially if you have a look on the costume of the character you can see how light is reflecting from the shoulder pad when I'm changing the camera angles and it's quite smooth here as well. No frame drops or lagging is happening when I'm changing the camera angles here so quickly and the 3D graphics rendering is looking nice as well also if you have a look on the ground we are getting good amount of details in the shadow and the roughness of the surface texture everything looking quite nice for sure once again if you have a look on the cross we are getting lots of detail in the texture and everything Let's check how much FPS we are getting and we are getting around 60 FPS, 61 FPS. So once again that's quite nice and it's very smooth as you can see. The only worrying thing is that I'm not a good PUBG mobile player and uh, playing the games on this huge device, holding it in your hand, 11 inch display is not something I'm used to of but I'm just trying to give you an idea about the gaming capability of the device so let's play it a bit So the gameplay is quite smooth as you can see if you are a PUBG player you should be getting the idea about the gaming capability of the device that it's pretty nice lots of detail we are getting and there is no frame drop or lagging is happening and we are getting 60 FPS while playing PUBG Mobile on Xiaomi Pad 5 here.
So let's go back from here and let's have a look on the battery status. So CPU temperature is 56, battery temperature is still at 35 degrees Celsius and talking about the battery percentage it's at 72. So after playing all of these games for like 30 minutes battery percentage moved from 78 to 72 and that's very impressive because we are playing all of these high and heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting on 120 hertz refresh rate so that's pretty impressive and the gameplay was very nice as well it does not matter which game we were playing the performance of Xiaomi Pad 5 was quite impressive so if you are a gamer you will love the gaming capability of the device for sure and you will enjoy your gaming experience on Xiaomi Pad 5 so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and i will see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day